they said, Sleazy, you going soft. Nah, Sleazy, love a girl. Sleazy never. is. What? Man, I don't give a fuck. I don't listen. Sleazy motherfucking queasy, and I'm gonna be talking about no other college other than William Patterson. Yeah, so this is gonna be a quick, short video on like basically everything you need to know in like hopefully five minutes or less. People are always asking me, Oh, how's the college? You know, what is it like? Blah blah blah. Mind you, I went into college fall 2019. Of course, all of you know, the following couple months, shit got a little chaotic, and then COVID broke out, and then we were kind of like forced to leave campus, then regroup and come back like in August. A lot of us didn't really get to experience what it's supposed to feel like to be on a college campus, but I feel like I could talk for everybody. That was hanging out, going to school, fall semester that shit was bussing <laughs> but i have to be honest with you don't go to a school just because you hear it's the party school because when i got there i was like okay where the parties wasn't many parties wasn't much shit going on you feel me it was like really light it was like i was like what the fuck is this but then i met some people we got together and we had a good time until shit got turned the fuck up and I'm not talking about the good kind. I'm talking about like drama. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Yo, for real, I didn't even know that was your girl. You thought we fucked with you? We didn't even really fuck with you, bro. We wanted to kick you out the fucking group chat we was in before we ca- So, this is a warning. You know those little group chats that you get in before you go to school? Don't do that shit. And don't expect to be friends with all them people that you did that group chat with. No cap. You know, everybody that I walked into group chat being friends with, I am not friends with no more. Which is kind of sad, but that's the sad reality of college. On top of that, you outgrow people. Go duh, to college knowing duh, duh, that you're going to outgrow duh, all the people that you duh, meet while you're there. Duh, There's going to be people duh, that you duh, meet that are going to be like, duh, you're niggas. Duh, but then duh, they might switch up. Duh, duh, There's going to be people that you duh, meet duh, duh, that duh, are going to be dramatic duh, from the start. Duh, There's going to be people. There's going to be all types duh, of people, bro. Duh, but you're going to know duh, if that friendship duh, you have duh, is worth duh, having. Ass, no cap. Now on to the other shit. And in conclusion, I thought that bitch was fake. I don't know why she went to Karen's sister and told her that. But professor, did you know that she? You know it. Do your fucking work, yo. If you don't have at least a 2.0 GPA, they're gonna kick you off. They're gonna take away your financial aid, and then how you gonna pay? Because you're not paying it. Keep that in mind. Now I'm about to talk about William Patterson itself. It's cool, it's lit vibes. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's kind of cheapy, if you know what I mean. Those people that already go to William Patterson know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no shade, I love William Patterson, you know, it's what's up, but it's cheapy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's not, it's not high value. It's not high quality, like, you know, everything is kind of like, eh, mm, eh, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as education goes, you wanna use and rate my professor whenever you get, like, assigned a new professor or whatever um freshman my advice to you is please make sure that you are using rate my professor um it's okay to drop a class if you're staying on campus you got to make sure you have at least 12 to 15 credits so they're going to give you 15 credits you could drop a class but it's going to like slow down your process but using rate my professor is basically going to give you reviews about the professor that you have and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of the professors that are, like, teach at William Patterson, they're kind of crappy. Like, they, they're not sympathetic. They really don't care about any of your personal problems. They just want the work done. Now, you're going to, there's times you're going to come across people that are, like, 100%. They're going to help you through whatever you're going through. And then there's going to be people that are assholes that are dead ass going to be like, okay, well, you know what you signed up for. I can't help you with that. you got to give the work to me. And if you don't get the work to them. And if you're not doing your all to do your work, they're going to suggest to you to drop the class. Now, you can only drop one class per semester, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. 
like these professors some of them are ruthless like you know they don't want to see everybody like succeed and then there's others that do want to see everybody succeed so please play your card right do your research do everything you need to do to succeed housing housing is okay I stayed in Overlook South my freshman year and in Made Soul Hall my sophomore year. I'm about to be a junior. I'm trying to get a skyline, baby. <laughs> but there are other dorms. If you're a freshman, I'm gonna suggest to you to try to get in Hillside because now if you're watching this video, Overlook South is shut down and you can't get in. So try to go to Hillside or try to go to fucking East or West. They're all great buildings, but East is the nicest. Now, if you're a fat ass like me, you want to know the food quality. In my freshman year, I'm not going to lie, it was fucking terrible. It was trash. Please do not let these dining hall people tell you that their shit is top notch because sometimes it'd be terrible. And you can even ask the staff. They're going to let you know that some of their food is trash. No cap. The pizzas... The salads, the sandwiches, the burgers, the fries, those are all good. Now, when you get into the home-cooked food-type Philly shits that they be cooking, sometimes it's nasty, sometimes it's good. It's really like, it's like it's like flipping a penny, you know what I'm saying? You get tails and you get heads. It's not really, it's not a for sure consistent rate of good food. It's just like you get what you get. But you're going to get an ID card, and by force, they're going to make you, like, buy a meal plan and then you get like the little a little um money like the pioneer you can use that to buy food you go to quick check you could order biagio's that's a top place to buy food it's got all my money for two semesters in a row <laughs> so you know you know it's good it's good now when it comes to pioneer please don't be like me and spend it on wpu gear I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to get that Pioneer. I'm going to buy some more with WPU gear. I'm sorry. <laughs> but don't be like me. Like, you're a freshman. You're probably not working. And hospitality doesn't hire freshmen. So you're not going to be working unless you work at Quick Check or something. So be smart with your money. Save your money. You know, use it when you really need it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're going to WPU, you better be following their WPU confessions page. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. That's all I gotta say. But for the most part, WPU, like, their lounges, immaculate. They upgraded, immaculate. I don't even have nothing to complain about. It's a calm, fresh vibe. Also, go to the arcade. You wanna get your work done, you want somewhere quiet to go, you wanna play pool, you wanna play games, go to the arcade, period. It's the best place on campus and I feel like it's underrated. More people should go there because, hello, it's the arcade. Why, why wouldn't you be in the arcade? What are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your time? What are, Other than homework, what are you doing? You're not really doing that, so go to the arcade. If you like to work out, there were two gyms, but now, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's one. I'm not really sure on like the whole status with the other one because the second gym I'm talking about was actually placed in Overlook North, which is shut down. So there is another gym. A lot of people be there. It's nice to get your workout. You got a schedule. You got to set up an appointment to go there. It's nothing too crazy, but you got to do it to be able to go. That's because of COVID. But, you know, it's a chill vibe. You want to work out. You want to pump some weights. Just go to the gym. There's a track if you want to walk around a the track. There's, there's mad walking space. I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to be walking around a lot if you're not doing online classes. You're going to be walking around. And you gotta get used to walking around. You're gonna walk everywhere. That's the thing about college. Even if you have a car, you're gonna find yourself having to walk somewhere. So, you know, don't knock it. Don't be upset about it. It's actually a vibe. And that's how you meet people. When you're in your car all the time or you're in your dorm, you will not meet people. I'm telling you. Take it from me. I'm mad antisocial. I haven't gotten out a lot. Now, I don't got no friends. but yeah i mean be social that's the whole point of college that's why you're going to college to get the experience so if you want the experience you're gonna have to talk to people you're gonna have to work in group assignments i hate that shit but you're gonna be in a group assignment 
and if you find yourself being in a um a cohort be friends with everybody in that cohort boom that's friends but some of the people that are in your cohorts i think i'm saying it right they're usually commuters <laughs> that, that happened to me like i didn't really mingle with people a lot because it ended up being so that they were fucking commuters and i was just like damn like you're not around 24 7 so it's just like i'm only gonna be seeing you in class you know it's not i don't know i'd rather have friends that are like living on campus than having friends that are like commuters because it's just like when are we gonna link you know like what, what are you getting into after this you know i feel like i shouldn't have to ask that if you're living on campus you know like if you're living on campus cool I'm, let's go you know what i'm saying like let's, let's get out of here but if that's not the case in their community it's kind of gonna, it's gonna be hard to maintain your friendship sometimes you know if you want to be friends with somebody just be friends with them just say hello just say something don't be shy don't be scared because you cannot be shy in college i'm learning that i'm mad shy and i'm just now trying to break that and i'm realizing yo if i just would have said hello when i wanted to say hello or if i just would have reached out when i wanted to reach out i would have had mad friends you know what i'm saying but there's always shit going on there's always people making youtube videos there's hella people you collab with if you make music there's hella people making music there's hella people that do the arts like it's, it's people everywhere you just gotta like put yourself out there if you're not putting yourself out there then you're not gonna have any friends you're gonna be like me do you want to be like me do you want to be like me i don't think you want to be like me but yeah like i said this video was not meant to be mad long i was just dropping the basics you know what i'm saying if you a freshman and you need advice or you need something a friend hit me up on ig my shit is sleazy queasy you already know how we rock it man um yeah and that's really all i got Yeah. <laughs>